what's going on everybody Corey here and this is my 2022 top five magic releases uh, and 2022 was such a great year and it's really hard to put everything into a top five uh, but I wanted to make this a quick video so uh, let's get started so I have an honorable mention because I couldn't leave it out uh, so this would be uh, I guess six theoretically but that is the gaff lighter project from Adam Wilbur and Volpine Creations. Um, one of the first things that I bought from Volpine when it was released, so brilliant, so many different opportunities um, or ways to use uh, the sheets that you get. Uh, and the fact that you get the sheets to make your lighters and you get the files so you can make more. Um, it's just, it's superb. It's such a great project. Um, and it's easily one of those things that can go into anyone's everyday carry. There's something on in the project for everyone. Uh, so that is the Gaff Lighter project as an honorable mention. Now the top five. And uh, these really aren't in any particular order. Um, but these are the top things that came out in 2022 that I am the most excited to see or was the most excited to see, and my favorite things that came out. So, uh, number five, Key Master by Craig Petty. Uh, Key Master, you know, I guess you could argue, honestly, there's two things on here that you can argue are re-releases, uh, but they're updates to original products that were released years ago, and uh, Key Master is one of those that I was really happy to see come back onto the market updated. Um, and from listening to Craig on uh, on the uh, Magic podcast, sounds like there's going to be some really fun things coming for Keymaster uh, in the future. So hopefully that's true. Hopefully it happens. Hopefully it's not something that just gets scrapped, um, as sometimes things do in Magic. But uh, Keymaster is number five. At number four uh, is the Orphic Wallet Plus, or the Orphic Wallet, if that's uh, the one you use. Um, for me, the Orphic Wallet Plus, it came out, I was using the Shadow Wallet, and I didn't think I'd ever replace that. And I got my hands on the Orphic Wallet Plus, and after two weeks, I was like, nope, this is, this is now my wallet. This is the wallet I'm going to use. So that is my number four. That is from Louis Laval and the 1914. At number three, I've got Chop, and that is my second Craig Petty uh, product and second technical re-release. But Chop is uh, one of those products, one of those magic tricks that you know is a real worker. Um, say what you will about Craig. Uh, people know my opinions, uh, my, my opinions on Craig, even though I've never really had a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction with him. Um, no matter what you think of Craig, though, Chop is a worker. Um, this is something that if you're a restaurant worker, table hopper, you should have this in your repertoire. Um, the fact that you can use really any cup that you want. I mean, I guess you I, you couldn't really use a clear cup, but I guess you could if you really wanted to and you wanted to be, you had a creative routine for it. Uh, but the fact that you really don't need anything with you you can borrow a dollar or a bill you can use any cup you can go table to table doing a trick if you were to show up for a gig and just say hey can i grab a coffee cup real quick take to the tables with me you would be set to go and you have such good ma magic and that's even if you're just going with the base routine um so chop is my number three my number two is another one from Volpine and Adam Wilbur, and that is the amazing coffee cups and beans. Um, <clears throat> this is, you know, taking your cups and balls and kind of turning it on its head, uh, bringing out props that everyone knows. It's coffee cups and bringing out these giant coffee beans. This is such a good trick. It's such a good routine. The amount of instruction you get, like, I'm a person, I don't want, like, just a ton of stuff dumped 
in destruction. Like, I'm gonna only going to watch probably a couple things and see if it, you know, I want to see, like, the main routine, and then I might see a couple other things. But you do get a lot of stuff with this. So there's, I mean, you've got routine. I think you've got, there's a couple, one, at least one on there from Craig. There's one on there from his son, Rylan. Um, just all these different handlings that you get with this amazing coffee cups and beans project. The price tag, I've heard people say is steep. I even said it was steep just because I'm not a cups and balls performer. But after seeing everything that you get with it, it was a no brainer. I had to pick it up. Um, Adam thought this out so well. And I think if you're, if you're doing cups and balls and you're looking to update, and you haven't picked up the Amazing Coffee Cups and Beans yet, you need to do yourself a favor and do that. Um, the set's beautiful, and the the fact that you can do a final load and produce two cups full of beans, of real coffee beans, is just, uh, it's, it's something. It's one of the most beautiful cups and balls routines I've ever seen. And my final, my number one, is Shrapnel by Kim Anderson. Uh, shrapnel hit the market really early last year and uh, was one of those that took social media by storm and seeing Kim perform it is amazing. Uh, I've got my shrapnel on my bookshelf back there. I play around with it all the time. Uh, it's one of the few items in my magic collection and my magic stuff that I would say I would be tempted to buy a second and third copy of just so I always have a backup on hand um, packaging is well thought out the fact that you get a little mint tin and that holds everything speaks volumes for uh, for the trick any the way it is it's incorporated into the trick it's a good store solution it keeps your gimmick safe and you have it all in one place and it makes it the perfect EDC item. Um, like honestly, if you look on this list, the only thing that isn't an EDC, couldn't be considered an EDC item, would be coffee cups and beans. So you see where I kind of lean at, but these are, this is my top five for 2022. Watch, I'm kind of curious, what is your top five? Uh, is there anything that I left out there? You're like, oh, why didn't you mention this? Um, obviously, a lot of magic came out in 2022, and uh, these were my favorites that came out. Um, and if you haven't checked any of them out, go find them. You like to so see, you can get them on almost all the stuff. I think you can get on Penguin. Um, check out Volpine Creations uh, to check out Adam Wilbur stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to what 2023 brings to us. Uh, and if I'm going to spend as much money or if I'm going to tone it back a little bit. But I'd love to know what is your top five or any tricks that I left off my list that you think is like, hey, why didn't you include that? So let's have a conversation down below in the comments and we will see you in the next video.